so after a little catch on the tool with the looks like a little piece of bob wire that must have been inside of the tree you see the catch there that it made so what I'm going to do I'm going to see if I can epoxy this into this and continue with the bowl so I got my coal jaws on here and we're gonna reverse it and fix the tenon that's warped and continue on with the bowl so seal the inside with some 3m tape we're gonna put it on here fill that with some epoxy and put the let it set up and put the nail back in it let's we'll see what happens One eternity later. Two thousand years later. So thanks for watching the Gatlinburg Fire Bowl. This is uh, special in a lot of different ways. Uh, not just being a, a rescue piece of wood from the Gatlinburg fires from last year, but also um, being my first time ever uh, taking a log from a log form and turning it into this. So um, that was pretty special for me uh, to be able to dry, go through the whole process. I, I left a link down below to part one of where I've actually taken the log cut it down, turned it down, dried it. Um, so this is actually part two. Uh, I'd also like to thank Tommy G, Tommy G's workshop.com. You need to go check out uh, his site there if you're interested in carbide tools. Uh, these carbide tools are excellent. Um, I did get a little niche in the uh, round finishing uh, blade with that catch on the, the bob wire, but uh, I've got one ordered so I get that replaced. Uh, but these are excellent uh, carbide turning tools if you've never used them uh, and I'd compare these up there with the commercial grade uh, that are, are probably known at this time. But uh, Tommy G, I appreciate that and uh, check out his, I'll leave a link to his website down below. The cool thing about Tommy's is you don't have to just buy the tool. You can buy just the, the stock and turn your own handle or you could... Um, uh, customize it however you would like to do it you don't just have to buy the tool so uh, I'll leave the link down below for Tommy uh, as always I appreciate you watching and with that I'll leave you with this always remember be kind to one another <laughs>